Hi yogis, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a new video for you. I know many people have requested this. Many of you have asked me where am I? I'm just super busy with being a mother, running a yoga studio, doing all the things that I have to do in a day and I want to do in a day. And then sometimes recording a video just doesn't fit in that. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to record more YouTube videos for you and hopefully uh, they'll be helpful in your in your life for different times in your life and um, this one is really simple because I found um, recently that I really need simplicity in my life so this is what I'm going to offer to you today a very simple flow that um, hopefully helps you to get back into your heart and a little bit out of your mind all right let's get started let's get started on our knees you can place your hands on your knees or in your lap and then roll your shoulders back, close your eyes. Let's take three deep breaths here. Noticing the quality of the breath as it is today, as you deepen your breathing, the texture of the breath, the temperature of the breath. Is it easy to breathe deeply or is it challenging? As you open your eyes, lift your arms, but keep the same deep breath. Exhale, hands draw through the center in front of the heart. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hands through the center at the heart. One last time. Inhale. And this time, exhale, hands through the center, come all the way forward onto the hands and knees, curl the toes under and then slowly unfold in downward facing dog. Inhale from your dog back to hands and knees and exhale to child's pose. Inhale onto hands and knees and exhale downward facing dog. One more time, inhale hands and knees, exhale child's pose. Inhale back to hands and knees and exhale downward dog and take a few breaths in your dog maybe just feeling once again the texture of the breath or you can feel a little bit more what the body is like today how would, what does it feel like to be in your body And now make your way to the back of your mat, hands come at the feet, and then take a moment to fold forward all the way. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands at the heart. Inhale, circle the arms up, deep breath. Exhale, bend forward, bend your knees, release. Lengthen through the spine, inhale. And then walk or slide your hands forward. This is the Pranam Namaskar that I learned from Shiva Ray. Deep inhale and then come down to the earth. Bring the palms of the hands together and lay on the earth. And this is a really good place to release stress, to release anxiety, to release tension, contraction, or at least observe if there is any of those. And bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and then press back come up to your feet and then slowly fall back forward lift the arms inhale deepest breath exhale we fold forward again inhale and slide or walk the hands out and exhale onto the earth complete release one breath Hands underneath shoulders, press back. You can go through downward dog or just hands and knees folding forward. Lift your arms on an inhalation. One more round. So we move into cycles of three. Releasing onto your belly and releasing down into the earth. Hands underneath shoulders. 
pressing back. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, bow forward. Walk to downward facing dog. There are two flies joining us today. It's really summer here in Madrid. Now bring your right leg up to the sky. Inhale. And exhale, step the foot between the hands. Bring your left knee to the earth. Lift your arms, if you like, take any mudra, like interlacing the fingers, second fingers up. And then when you exhale, hands come down to the earth. Step to downward dog in here. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, bring the right knee down. Lift your arms, inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, hands to the earth. Downward dog, inhale, exhale. Now without lifting the right leg, step it forward, knee down, lift the heart, oh, one breath if you can. And then exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, arms rise. There's no rush, exhale. One more cycle. Right foot forward, left knee down. Exhale, start to feel that invigorating base. Last time back. And exhale. Now deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, wave to plank for a vinyasa. Exhale, lower or hover above the earth. Cobra, upward facing dog, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Now bring your knees down onto the earth. Bring your sit bones to your heels, wisdom pose. This wisdom pose is where we release any overwhelm that's creating this craving for simplicity. Sometimes we have just too much happening in our minds. There's too much clutter, overwhelm. So this is where you release that into the earth. And then when you come up onto hands and knees, come down onto your belly and then roll over onto your back, making sure that you're comfortable here. There's no hair, hair band or any weird bands thing that's feeling awkward in your lower back. <laughs> you know, if you have fashionable yoga clothes, sometimes that happens. And you can hug your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. And even that, you know, like wearing yoga clothes can feel like, oh, I need all these different things in my life. You don't need any, I'm wearing normal secondhand H&M bands and a very old shirt. You do not need any material to experience yoga. That's just marketing, <laughs> right? Good, now from your hand, your knees to your chest, up and asana, we take happy baby pose and maybe press the feet a little bit down, another wonderful grounding pose. And then if it feels nice, you can bend one knee more and stretch the other leg out. And do that on the other side as well. And maybe both legs. <sighs> Releasing any tension from the back. And then gather the legs back to center, cross them and hold on to the outside of your feet. And just draw the feet closer, relaxing the buttock muscles here. And then cross your legs the other way, holding onto the feet, flexing the feet to protect the knees. Good, and now just shake everything out. Roll up. And then release into Shavasana, letting the legs be nice and wide, the arms wide. Letting go of any need to control your breath or your mind, your emotions or sensations. 
everything just flows in and then out of the body. Nothing stays in the body forever. Begin to move your awareness back into your body. Starting to breathe deeper, maybe stretch your arms. And then bring your knees into your chest. If you want to keep the energy of the practice, roll to your left. If you want to keep the relaxation, roll to your right. And then from there, come up into a seated pose to close your practice. Once again, taking any mudra, whether it's just simply bring the hands down or up, down for grounding and up for an energetic lift. And maybe there is a space in your life where you feel that overwhelm or that craving for simplicity, decluttering, creating space. And it's just good to have an intention to simplify and then usually things will come to us that create more simplicity or things will be taken away that we thought we needed but we actually didn't. Maybe that can be your intention for the rest of this day or this week, simplifying your life. Bring the hands to touch at the heart. May everyone we meet today and always benefit from this practice. Namaste, Yugis. Thank you so much. Our friend, the fly, is still circling around. <laughs> I don't think you can see him. Thank you so much for joining me again. I love to see you again in, your, in the comments and um, to hear from your experiences with this practice and with this channel. And I'll do my very, very best to keep uploading more um, regularly. Until then, you can practice with all the videos that I've made before. And um, I know my practice changes and my teaching changes as well. It's normal evolution, so maybe you don't need what I'm teaching now, but you do need what I was teaching before or the other way around. Maybe what I was teaching before, you're like, whatever, and you need what I'm teaching now. So just find the right practice for you at this point in your life. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.